Welcome to the Jeff and the Bonch Show. Episode 3 of Episode the 2012 three, edition. Week 5. So, another crazy, crazy week of football. It's crazy every week, I mean... It's time for Hot Topics. These topics are hot. Oh yeah. Topic of the week. Icing the kicker. Good idea? Bad idea. You know, every time someone goes to ice the kicker, it's always a big issue. It's always a big thing. The announcers always talk about it. Should it be allowed? Should it not no, be allowed? My question is, when you say yeah. icing the kicker, do you mean the timeout right before? Yeah, I mean That's calling a timeout, the kicker, a right? timeout before. The Mike Shanahan uh, invented strategy? Yes. Because, again, again, we saw it on Sunday in Sunday football. Yep. Lawrence Tynes completely shanks a 54-yard field goal wide left. On attempt number one. But, oh, Andy Reid called the timeout. So he gets the second try, which he ended up missing. He missed that too, but it yes. was right on. That was that a was, way that was, I mean, yeah, that was a, it was a nice effort by yeah. times, just a little short. I actually looked up some stats to see if it actually works okay. from ESPN. And when there is not a timeout called for icing the kicker, um, 81% of the time the field goal is made. Okay. When there is a timeout, 76% of the time the field goal is made. So yes, there is a slight advantage, okay. but I wouldn't say it is um, significant enough that it makes a difference. See, I have a problem with all the statistics, honestly, mm -hmm. because I feel like there's such there's got to be a big discrepancy between we're talking about a 30 yard kick or a 50 yard kick. Yeah, is the timeout called before he actually kicks it? Which I'm fine with that, by the way. Or is it called like right before and he's kicked it anyway? I don't think that should be allowed. So. You've got like a big discrepancy, I think, between yeah. all these different things. When you look at it as a whole, I don't, I don't know. I feel like the stats can be misleading. With I'm fine this. with icing the kicker just in general, especially if it's a young rookie kicker. It's a big game-winning kick. Yeah. If there's any weather involved, where you're just an extra layer of rain, something like that, I think it's a good idea. But I wouldn't say it's something that works enough that everybody should do. We're gonna get right to debate time. Do we have to? A subsection of hot topics. No. Please and this don't. week's debate centers around no. the Bonch's favorite all time player. We all know who it is Tim Tebow. The question is is it Tebow time in New York? Not now. Not ever. Not now, not ever, says the Bunch. I don't know where to start here. Um, Start with Tebow time in New York. This isn't, yeah, thanks, thanks. Yeah. But this isn't, this doesn't make any sense to do this. I'm sorry. What about the way Tim Tebow's talents makes him a fix for the New York Jets offense? Is he going to get the ball better to their second and third string wide receivers that they have on the field right now? Is he going to okay. help their mediocre to below average running game? Mark Sanchez, yeah, he's been bad, but is he the problem with the Jets' offense? He's part of it. He's not the whole he is thing. He's part of it. Yeah, he's part of it. Can we agree the Jets' season's over? Yeah, absolutely. So then what's the Their two best with? players, Revis and Santonio Holmes, done for the year. So what's the problem with bringing Tebow in? Are you trying to lose games? If that's what you're trying to do, if you're trying to tank the season and get a high draft pick, absolutely start Tim Tebow. Well, at least... My th it can't get any worse. What are they, a six-win team? Maybe. I so don't then, know. what's the difference? Truth is, you could say, okay, you put Tim Tebow in there. You, know, you got a circus. You know what? I'd rather it's a circus go, already. Yeah, well, I'd rather go watch a more fun circus than go watch. Why paint is that drive. fun? Why is it fun? At least he's a Tebow. fun player. He's not fun. He runs around. Yeah, it's when he misses fun. wide open our receivers, that's fun. It's so does Sanchez. Sanchez is good. Yeah, but I'm saying Tim Tebow doesn't make the team better. Why does he make the team better? Can't make it worse. I guess really? people, well, worse than Sunday, yeah. But I'm saying, does Tim Tebow against the Niners' defense, does that, would that make a difference? No. Well, they're still going to lose, but they were going to lose either way. At least, <sighs> he's a dynamic player. He's I'd rather playmate. start Greg McElroy than Tim Tebow, if we're going to change that's the quarterbacks. That's not the question. It's the I don't care if that's the question. Time. I'm saying, if, we're gonna, if you're going to bench the Sanchez... The going to do that. No, they're not. They're not. Before... This year even began. Yes, yeah, so last year's uh, Jeff and the Bond show, I believe the 
our first episode after the Super Bowl, we decided we are going to have a running Super Bowl prediction throughout the season. And so every quarter of the year. Yeah, which makes playoffs, sense. Every four weeks. We will ma remake our picks. So yes. at some point, hopefully, one of us will be ready. Now, when you last the left helmets. us, the helmets. when you last left us, our picks were, I had the Texans and the Packers. You had the Eagles and the Steelers, I believe? Yeah, Battle of Pennsylvania. You had the Battle of Pennsylvania. Question is, do you want to change either of your picks? No. I do. You do? Goodbye, Green Bay. I have not seen enough from the Packers this year. Um, I've had the Texans since February. I'm sticking with them. They've definitely given me no reason to change. Yeah. I'm going to the 49ers. Okay. You know, probably should have made the Super Bowl last year. Uh... The running game is just as good. Crabtree looks like he's molded himself in a nice possession receiver. Vernon Davis, the yeah. defense is unbelievable. I don't see anybody being the Niners in the in a postseason matchup. I think people would say, why aren't you picking the Falcons? The reason is I need to see in from the postseason from them. It's time for Fantasy Focus. Let's make sure your vision's 2020. All right, we're going to start off with a popular segment on this show. Yeah, very popular. It's one week of existence. It is. It's called Should I Start Him? Yes. A subsection. Yes. Of now, players. the difference this week is we both came up with our own list of participants. A couple, a couple players. Candidates. Don't know who each other are going to say. Yeah, exactly. And it's the uh, the game pretty much is is that, say a player, then you say his startability rating, which mm -hmm. is 10 is, got to start this guy no matter what. Yeah. 10 is, you can't say Aaron Rodgers. One is... I don't know. Who stinks really bad? Tim Tebow. <laughs> one is... You said one, Tim Tebow for your starting quarterback. I would say Tim Tebow in a situation where we're talking negatively, but... You know. can't do that. It's not in the game. I'm going to go to San Diego, a guy that a lot of people drafted pretty high, running back Ryan Matthews. Because, you know, here's a guy that seems like there's all the talent in the world, he but... the Saints, right? Yes. He's in New Orleans. New Orleans. A bad run defense. But the two problems with Ryan Matthews is, one, he fumbles all the time. Two, he always gets hurt. And three, now it looks like he's losing goal line carries to Jackie Battle. Jackie Battle got a one-yard touchdown on Sunday. See, I really don't like Ryan Matthews. I don't like him either. I don't like fumblers. Four and a half. Um, I'm giving him a six only because That's of the Saints. High. Only because of the Saints run defense. It's so bad. Jeremy Macklin. There's another guy I don't like. Yeah, you don't like Jeremy Macklin? You know how many receiving yards he Injury had? prone. Seven. Seven. He had seven receiving yards. I did the math. What's the guy's name on the dog? Brian Hartline? Yes, Brian Hartline. He had 136th as many receiving yards in that game. Wow. Or last week. Isn't that great? Brian it's... Hartline, the league's leading receiver. Unbelievable. Man, it's a different story. Yeah. Uh, um, he's going seven. to Pitts. Yeah. Go with seven? He had seven receiving yards. Oh, no. Oh, you were getting no, no. Like, what? Calm what? down, what? you. No. That's the number of receiving yards he had yes. last week. Yes. I was like, <laughs> maybe point seven. 23. That's how many he's going to have this enough. Yeah. <laughs> He's in Pittsburgh. It's a good defense. It's on the road. Where Vic's due for a three interception game. I'm Vic's going. due for three interceptions? So you think he's yeah. due every week? Yes. <laughs> every other week? Hey, yeah, he didn't have three interceptions again last week. That means he's due. I'll go with two. I'm not a Macklin guy. I was going to go three and a half. I'm not a Macklin guy. That's gonna and not in half. this matchup. Peyton Manning. New England. Has been good. I wouldn't want to say he's been great. He's going to the Pats. Not the best defense in the world. It's on the road. Six. I have him. I have him an eight. The Bills running back combination of C.J. Spiller and Fred Jackson against the 49ers. Two guys that have proven to be viable fantasy starters. But now the problem is they're basically in timeshare. It's in San Francisco. It's in San Francisco against the best run defense in the league. Two and a half. Can you even start them? Two and a half. Exactly. I think I have him as a two. Two and a half. I have him as a two. Julio Jones. Yeah, you're like, oh, with Julio Jones, he's a great fan. Like, what are you talking about? He's one of the best receivers in the league. Two of the four weeks, he's been complete dud. I think he had 14 receiving yards week two. He had like 20 in week four. Something like that, 20, 30. I mean, Roddy White is the guy that's going to get points to you every week on that in that offense. And now you got Julio Jones going to Washington. What are you going to say? Uh... I mean, I say an eight. I, I feel like say ten. I think no matter ten, yeah, guaranteed. Not guaranteed, but a must start. But is he a must start right yeah, now? Yeah, he's a must start. You sure? Yeah, he's still a top ten wide receiver. You yeah. always have to start your top ten wide receivers. Mm. 
Yeah, Michael Turner. How did he do last week, buddy? Mr. I'm, don't start yeah. him. Give him a one. I, I stand by that statement. He showed you. Michael Turner owners, trade him all you can. Don't trade him. His value him. will not be higher than it is right now. Start him weekly. <laughs> he won't let you down. Yeah, right. <laughs> Watch, two touchdowns. Weeks one and two were just an aberration, the fact that he was plotting for two yards of carry. Four. Two touchdowns this week for Michael Turner. Yeah, okay. Now it's time for... You can say this, it's not embarrassing. Oh. The fantasy stud of the week! Fantasy Woo! stud, wow. Yeah, fantasy stud, woo! You're enthused. Yeah. Frank Gore. Go with Frank Gore this week. Okay. He's had a good season so far. I like how you always pick your own players. Do you? <laughs> I sort of do sometimes. Yeah. It's because it's wishful thinking. Yeah. But I actually do think Frank Gore will have a good week. No, so, do last year pick... so do I. So do I. I like Frank Gore. I think Frank Gore, he's had. A, he's been a pleasant surprise, at least to me. Because when they signed, they scratched all the Michael James. They signed Brandon Jacobs. Kendall Harner's a pretty solid backup. And everyone was all, oh my god, Frank Gore's going to lose so many carries. And he really has it. Yeah. He's still he's still the starter. He's and still good until until there, his, his week seven hamstring injury, which is all he's which clearly, is coming. What is this? he's clearly better than guys like Kendall Hunter? Yeah, he's running. the best he's, running back on the. He's still a great NFL running back, but he's going to get hurt at some point. But while he's healthy, you got to you know expect big things. And in this game, I think they're going to crush the Bills. Yeah, the probably. Bills. Stink. I'm Gosh. going Marshawn Lynch to the Seattle Seahawks. Hmm. A guy yeah. that you know everyone's going to start anyway. Yeah. He's a running back two if not a running back. Well, he's a running back one this week. And Absolutely. Panthers. He hasn't Carolina. been he hasn't been great. No, he's been good. But I mean Michael Turner ran over the Panthers. Michael Turner. Actually he received. Andre Brown ran all over the Panthers. Yeah. Marshawn Lynch is gonna have a field day. He's gonna so? be he's gonna be having Skittles left and right. It's time for perfect picks. Our picks are pretty good. We still need something better for that. Yeah. An alliteration. Listen to me, not him. Our picks are pretty good. Are we going to say it in a cool way? Never mind. I, I don't know. This... All right, we're going to start with the game of the week. Yep. I had a tough time picking the I game think there's the two candidates. In the end, I chose... We're going to talk about both games. I feel like we are. In the end, I chose... Eagles at Steelers. And I chose the other one. I chose uh, Broncos I, and Patriots. I thought you might. But I chose Eagles at Steelers also just because it was my Super Bowl pick. Yeah, exactly. So You're excited. Like this. Oh my god, my Super Bowl preview. I'm so excited. Have a choice. Though, the truth is, is I expected an ugly game. Yeah, like Smash mouth. Smash mouth. A lot of sacks. A lot of sacks. Both two crappy offensive lines. Don't mind that. Yeah, I don't mind it either. Um, I like defense. I'm going Steelers. Really? I can't believe I'm, sh I'm a little surprised. Really? I surprised yeah. you for a chance. Yeah. Steelers. I thought you were going Eagles. Coming off the bye. Yeah. I feel like... Off, off a bad bye. loss to Oakland. They're angry. Yeah, Mike Tomlin is a good coach. Mm -hmm. Coming off the loss to Oakland. Extra week to prepare. The He's Eagles, watching Sunday football. Yeah. Easily. The, the Eagles gotten lucky so far. Again. <laughs> gotten lucky. Again, they got lucky. This game, I think it's going to be close. I think yeah. it's going to be a close game. It's a must win for the Steelers, which is why they're going to win the game. And I don't home. think it's going to be close. Bye week. Eagles. Why did you think I was going to pick the Eagles then? I don't know because you've I been so like pro. You're always pro, always pro Eagles. I like the Eagles. You're always pro I Eagles. Like them, but, but I'll go Steelers, and I don't think it's going to be close. Steelers I'm going to say by like 13. Like, wow. Yeah. I was going to say by three. I'm more curious to see what happens. The game you're going to say, I think, is the more fun oh, yeah. game. It's going to be a lot more fun. Because what I've seen now is you got a Patriots team that still hasn't looked great. I mean, no. yeah, they've put up 15 points in Buffalo. They were down 21 7 in the second half in that game. Yep. Um, they are at home. They're playing a Broncos team that I can't figure out, quite frankly. I think it's a team that can be bad teams but can't be good teams. Like, they went to Atlanta. They went to Atlanta. You saw three interceptions from Payne in the first half. Mm -hmm. and then they, home against the Texans, they lost that game. But those are also two undefeated teams. So, is Denver capable of going on the road and getting a big win? No! no. Not even close. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I think this is a blowout. My really, friend. I think New England's gonna crush them. Peyton Manning, mm -mm, not this time, buddy. Going to Foxborough. I think the Pats are be more, better than you're giving them credit for. Honestly, I don't think the Bills are that bad a team. Mm. I don't. I think the Pats are gonna crush them. Fourteen point win. They're not gonna crush them, but I the Patriots gonna are gonna win this game. I hate to bring agreeing on everything. I yeah, I know. It's I know. You're a copycat. You're looking at my sheets. Yeah, I'm looking at your sheet. Do you know what time it is? What time is it? Do you know what time it is? Oh, you're actually asking? No, no, do you know what time it is? Let's do it again. Do you oh. know what time it is? 
What time is it? It's time for lock it up. You really need to get a lock. Clink. The actual like lock. Yeah, I know. How we do last week? Well, three and oh. Three and oh. See? And we picked different teams. So if you listen to us, you were at least six and oh. Mm -hmm. You went at least six and nine uh, last five week. five was ridiculous. <laughs> it was. Ugh. It really was. But, uh, so we pick three winners each. Yep. Sometimes they might be the same. Last week they just happened to not be the same. Yep, 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 yep. yep. This week, let's do them quick. Lock well, let's week. do them quick. I have the Houston Texans going to the New York Circus that is the Jets right now. There is no way they lose that game. I'm sorry. What else you got? The Giants uh, playing the Cleveland Browns at home. I mean, have you seen the Browns play? That's, that's two. And I'll go a little bit with a risk here. I'm going to go with the Minnesota Vikings to beat the Tennessee Titans as a wow. lock. As a lock of the week. Well, again. We have three different teams? No, we have two different teams. Oh. But it was close. Yeah. Um, I also have the Giants over the Browns. I don't see them losing that game. But I have the Ravens over the Chiefs. We all know I liked the Chiefs. They've let me down so many times. I'm mad at them. Upset of the week last week. How'd that work out for Upset you? Upset special. You guys are bums. Yeah, I think the Ravens are going to crush them. I don't care if it's in Kansas City. Yeah, exactly. Then we've got the Packers over the Colts. Are you kidding? Lock of the week. Listen to us. You're 5-0 and right now. There's a few yeah. other. You take the Bears over the Jags. That's the one I was going to possibly okay. switch to. So there okay. you go. There's your six. I can't disagree with that. you got a, yeah. you got a bonus, so you still got six. Mm -hmm. Pick those six, and you, you'll go right every time. Time for everyone's favorite segment. Upset special! I had a tough time with this this week. I didn't, actually. Really? I, I, I looked at the schedule like they're going to win this game. I think the Saints. So am I. So am I. And I, when I, when I got the same out, one. Oh, no. I know. But I know. We're picking an 0-4 team. That was the upset special. But when I took the Saints, I even thought to myself, is this an upset? They're home? Yes, it's an upset. Is the Chargers? The Chargers are three and one. The Saints are one four. It is absolutely an upset. No, but the Saints aren't that bad. It's so weird. I don't think the Saints are that. They're bad. They're zero and four. I know, but they're they say, oh, they bad. aren't that bad. They are zero and four. Thank you for watching the Jeff and the Bonch show. Tune in next week. Well, hopefully, we'll disagree a little bit more. Probably will. We usually disagree. Yeah. Don't get used to this this harmony we've had this week as far as our harmony goes. high five. No, we only did one terrible high five. I'm done with oh, high fives. Okay. Well, thank you for watching. Bye, America. Shalom. And Canada. I was trying to flick the helmet at the camera, but I can't. Don't actually hit it. Okay. <laughs>